Long ago and far away in the city of Jerusalem, a very special visitor came to town. His name was Jesus. He arrived on a beautiful Sunday in spring. What's happening? Where's everyone going? Haven't you heard? It's him! He's here! He's finally here! Oh! Who's here? The king! Come on! The king? Come on, let's go! There he is! There's Jesus! Where? Not that fellow on the donkey colt. The king? On a donkey? He should be riding a golden chariot pulled by mighty horses. Are you sure he's a king? He looks so ordinary, like one of us. He may not look special, but did you hear what he's done? He's done the most amazing things to help people. Even when Jesus is very busy, he takes time to bless children. There was a beggar who had been blind all his life. Jesus touched him, and you know what happened? The blind man could see. And that's not all. I heard Jesus went to a wedding, and there wasn't enough wine. So he took barrels of water and turned them into wine. Water into wine? That's nothing. I heard he knows how to walk on water. Oh, oh he's such a wonderful, wonderful man. man. Nice man. Make way! Make way! Come on, donkey. There's a good donkey. Come on. Good thinking, Andrew. Which way do you want to go, Jesus? Let's go to the temple. I'm excited to get back to my father's house of prayer. To the temple! Come on! This way! <sighs> it's been a busy morning. The temple will be quiet and peaceful. No, it's okay. It's okay. The people don't care. You can bring the donkey in the temple with you. Ah! 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 You said this was a place of worship. Well, the more money you spend, the better the blessing. This should be a house of prayer to honor God, not to make money. But look, it's like an animal farm in here. This bird is well dropped. Stuff dropped. Yeah, well, that's much too look at the oh. Leave here, all of you. Now. Come, let's go. Not everyone was happy to see Jesus. Some priests in the temple were very jealous that everyone liked Jesus more than they liked them. They didn't believe that he was the king. You're always telling us about this wonderful place called heaven. But how do we get into heaven? Trust in God and trust in me. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Forgive people when they do wrong. If people are hungry, feed them. And if they are thirsty, give them something to drink. If someone needs help, Will you people please stop pushing? We all want to hear what Jesus has to say. It's all right, Peter. Someone touched me. Who was it? There are so many people here. How could I know? Who was it? Who touched me? I did. 
I have been sick for many years. I wanted to touch you and be healed. Now you are better and can go in peace. Oh, thank you. From watching what I do and listening to what I say, you can learn how to enter into heaven. Love everyone, rich or poor. Most of all, I want you to learn to love your enemies. Hmm. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, was confused. He had followed Jesus for a long time, but he still didn't understand how to love everyone. He was also confused because he liked having money, and he always wanted more. I know I dropped it here somewhere. Excuse me, I've lost some money. Have you seen my coin? Does it have your name on it? One day, Judas decided to do something bad. Do you want to know where you can find Jesus? Yes. Who are you? I'm one of his disciples, Judas. I can show you where he stays for a price. Yes, take us to him. He's causing us too much trouble. The people like him more than us now. We must stop him. What will you give me if I tell you where he is? How's this? 30 pieces of silver. Don't worry. No one will know what you've done. All right. It's a deal. I'll come back soon and lead you to Jesus. That night, Jesus invited his closest followers, the disciples, to a special dinner. Hello, welcome, Peter and Andrew, and you too, James, John, Philip and Bartholomew. Hello, Thomas, Matthew, and James. Nice to see you, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. <sighs> what a long, hot day. I'm tired. Oh, me too. And my feet are filthy from those dirty streets. <sighs> I could sure use a bath. I know. Let's get a servant to wash our feet for us. Good idea. Jesus, do you know of a servant who can take care of us? Certainly. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? I'm washing your feet. Lift, please. But, but I didn't want you to do that. I wanted a servant to do it. You're too important, too powerful to kneel before me and wash my feet. Please, Peter, it's okay. I want to do this. And me too? And you, John, may I? And so Jesus himself, their Lord and teacher, went around the table with a large bowl of water. He washed everyone's feet until they were all clean. Even though I'm your Lord, I'm also your servant. I want to take care of you. And I want you to take care of others, too. Hmm. Now listen to me. I have something very important to tell you tonight. Someone here is going to do something bad to me. Someone is going to betray my trust and love. Who? Who is it? Could it be me? Or me? Not me. Go ahead, Judas. Do what you are going to do. First, I will give thanks. We thank you, God our Father, because you give us bread to eat and wine to drink. Whenever you eat this bread and drink this wine, I want you to remember me. The disciples didn't understand yet what Jesus was saying or why Judas had run off. They were confused, but they continued to listen. This is the last supper I'm going to have with you. 
have to go away soon, but don't worry. We'll see each other again, I promise. And I want you to remember, always love one another as I love you. But we don't want you to go away. We want you to stay with us, always. Do you really have to go? Yes, but remember what I tell you. I'll be back. Soon we'll be together again. Is someone trying to hurt you? If so, we'll help you, won't we? My dear friends, tonight you will be afraid, but everything will be all right. But now I want to go outside and pray. Do any of you want to join me? I do. Me too. You can sure, count on I'll me, go. Jesus. Me yeah, too. Me too. I'll, I'll go with you. Right by your I'll side. I'll go too. All right. Then follow me. And so Jesus led 11 of his disciples outside. It was a beautiful starry night. They walked and walked until they got to a hill called the Mount of Olives. It was late and the disciples were getting tired. I want to be alone for a few minutes. You'll wait here for me and keep watch, won't you? Of course we will. We'll be right here if you need us. <sighs> That's right, you can count on us. I'm tired. Mm, me too. I know. Let's rest against these rocks and this tree. Dear Father, I know you love me and are watching over me, but sometimes I'm still afraid of what's going to happen. Please help me be strong to do what you want me to do. Thank you. Amen. But back in the city of Jerusalem... Which way is he? <laughs> Follow me. Peter? John? Where is everyone? <laughs> Sound asleep. It's you! Oh, where am I? What's going on? It's okay. It's time to wake up. Huh? What's going on? Hello, Jesus. Oh! oh. <gasps> Come on! We have to protect him! It's okay. I must go. Put down your sword. This is what God wants me to do. <laughs> Following the orders of Pontius Pilate, the soldiers who carried Jesus away treated him as though he had broken the law. This was because there were some people who did not believe he was the Son of God. And so it was that Jesus died on a cross with a thief on each side of him. The disciples were very, very sad. They missed their Lord. But soon, a great surprise would happen. Some of the disciples took Jesus' body and cared for it. They brought him to a cave to be buried, as was the custom in those days. Then they put a big rock in front of the cave entrance, so no one else could get in. And finally, guards were ordered to stay in front of the cave. Two full days and nights passed.
And then on the third morning... You hear something? Yeah, what is that? Hey, what's going on around here? Huh? How is that stone moving all by itself? Look! Just then, some of Jesus' friends were on their way to visit the cave. We have everything we need, right? Perfume? Spices? I think so. Now we just need to talk to the guards. I hope they don't try to stop us. <gasps> Out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they're running. <gasps> Do not be surprised. Jesus is not here. He has risen from the dead. He's alive again. Go and tell all of his friends the good news. Jesus lives! <gasps> we must go tell everyone. What good news! Peter, John, angels, it's unbelievable. He's alive. Jesus is alive again. An angel appeared before me and told me the good news. I can't believe it. What a miracle. Incredible. Risen from the dead. Praise God. I must see for myself. Thomas, it's so good to see you. I have some great news. Jesus is risen. He is alive again. Mm-hmm. I know that you've been sad lately, Mary. Why don't you get some rest? No, really. Everything I say is true. Uh, thanks for the news, Mary. 
That's really great. Why don't you go on home now? Believe me, it's true. Oh, Thomas, I'll see you later. I'd have to see Jesus with my own two eyes to believe it. Wouldn't it be great, though, to walk into this house and see my teacher's familiar face again? I can almost picture it now. Jesus would be standing here, smiling at me. Ooh. Jesus? Jesus! Is, is that you? Now that Jesus is gone, we might as well fish. Are you ready with the net? Uh-huh. Come on, John. Okay. And a one, a two, a three! All right. Let's pull her back in. Pull! 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 Oh, no. Not again. We haven't caught so much as a minnow. Let's try it again, I guess. A one, a two, a... Look! Who's that over there? Throw your net on the other side of your boat. What is that going to prove? Besides, we've already tried that. We already tried that! Try again! Why should there be fish on one side of the boat and not the other? Well... I guess there's no harm in trying. Come on. And a one, a two, a three! Whoa! Whoa! Pull! Pull! Look at all these fish. Just look at them. But how can that be? How did he know that? Who is that man? Some kind of miracle. A, a miracle? miracle? Jesus? It is! I can't believe it! It's him! Jesus! Jesus! Quick, everybody, pull in the nets! Pull in the nets and let's get rowing! You're back! I can't believe you're back! Yes, Peter, but only for a little while. You see, I have to go back to my father in heaven soon. Are you leaving us again? You just got back. We want you to stay. Don't be sad. You should all be happy. Rejoice. Happy? How can we be happy when you're going to leave us again? Because I died to make up for all the wrong things people have ever done. You mean you died for us? But why? Because I love you all. What do you want us to do? God wants you to be with him in everything you do. And the way to do that is to love everyone the way I love you. I'm going to make a place in heaven for you. Tell everyone you meet about me and about what I have taught you. And always remember, I will be with you forever. We'll never forget you. We will tell everyone about your love. And the disciples never did forget. They went through villages and cities in many parts of the world, telling people about Jesus and the great things he had done.